Wow, so this is a jibar? Yep. <laughs> you just have to tape it here, you know? Wow, oh my gosh. It is really heavy. Mm. Ooh. Hey. Looks good? Nice. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have my wife, Harumi. Hi. And on the other side of the camera, there is Tomoko. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! So, in the past, we've been making quite a lot of videos talking about kimono. For example, we had you two, Harumi and Tomoko, wearing the kimono in yukata. And I know everyone really enjoyed these videos too. But in the comments of all of our kimono videos, we've been receiving a lot of comments saying, uh, Shogo, women's kimono are great too, but is it okay if we know more about men's kimono? Mm. Yeah, we actually didn't have a lot of occasions to, you know, never made a video specifically talking about men's kimono before. And uh, because we've been receiving a lot of quests, I was thinking, yeah, we should make a video, but the problem was, I am not that interested in fashion. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. You guys probably noticed I've been wearing the same kimono in almost all my videos, right? So you can probably understand how much I'm not interested in fashion, yeah. But then I realized, well, I do have two people in my team who are in love with kimono. Why can't I just ask them to choose the kimono for me? Yep. Yeah. So today, Yes! All right, yay! Men's kimono! So I actually asked Harumi and Tomoko to choose some men's kimono for me. We actually have three different sets of kimono here with all the belts and the kimono, all the juban and the tabi and such. But the three are different depending on the season. Right? So we have summer, we have spring and autumn, and also winter. Three different seasons here. So these yes. are really awesome. Cool. And we're going to be putting them on depending on the season. We're going to be starting from summer, mm, yeah, mm. and then moving on to spring, autumn, and then winter. So by watching this video, you'll not only be able to see these different types of kimono, but you'll be able to learn how the men like me would put the kimono on. And the latter part of the video will be getting colder, so we'll actually have more items and more coats and more layers of clothes, so you'll get to see more of the kimono later on in the video. So I hope you can watch this video to the end. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese first culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So <laughs> Let's go! Okay, so we're going to be starting with uh, summer. I hope you like my fashion so far. <laughs> <laughs> but Arumi has the, this is the yukata, right, honey? Mm. Yeah, this prepared for me. Yukata. I love the design. Mm. This is the, this is a hiragana, right? Yeah. Hiragana nu. Find it. Nu. Nu. Can you see? Yeah, I think it's very nice. Nu. This is ikina mon. Okay. In Japanese, called iki. That's really mon. hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> One of the very famous kabuki actor in the Edo period called mm -hmm. Ichikawa Danjiro, Nanadaime Ichikawa Danjiro san. Yes, yes, yes. His favorite. His favorite design. Kimono design. Uh -huh. Wow. The, the design called Kamawanu. Kamawanu. Mm. Because it has the Kama. Yeah, Kama wow. mm -hmm. and Wa is this circle here. Mm -hmm. And Nu Kama is. Wa? Nu is the hiragana Nu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Kamawanu. That means. <laughs> Uh, I don't care. I don't care, <laughs> yeah. It really sounds like a kabuki actor. Yeah, you know? it's really cool, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, okay, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't care kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. As a picture and a circle and then suddenly a hiragana. <laughs> the combination is really unique. Mm, really traditional say. iki nagara. Mm. Mm, okay. All right, let's start putting it on. There's an obi with it too. Yeah. So. And this is tsukuri obi actually. Mm -hmm. Tsukuri obi is fake obi, we call. Mm -hmm, exactly. So you don't have to do the proper tying. Mm. Right? You just have to just put it on and it'll be on, right? Yeah. Put it on this side. Whoa. Cool. Wow, it is really colorful. Mm. Wow. How does it look so far? Pretty good. Really cool. Yeah. Okay, and then this is the koshi himo. Mm -hmm, koshi himo. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have Harumi help me out actually. You know, I explained before, I can't use my hands, so. So women have the koshi himo too, right? Mm. So it's the same. Well, I, 
hardly have any occasions to wear yukata actually. So、mm. it's a funny feeling not wearing the juban、ah. inside. I usually only wear kimono, so. And then you just have to put on the belt after the hoshimo, right? So. <laughs> almost <laughs> done. Is, yeah, it's almost done. めっちゃかっこいい。Uh, you, can, you can really understand how easy men's kimono is compared to, you know, women's kimono. Messy. Oh, wow.、Magic、yeah, exactly, exactly.、Inside. Yeah, you just have to stick it then, basically.、Mm. This actually was like a yukata set, right, that we、yes. bought.、Mm-hmm. Mm. So everything came in one set. And because yukata are worn at summer festivals and everyone wants to wear it in like a real casual occasion,、mm. these、uh, really easy kind of、uh, special obi comes along with it often.、Mm. Because not everyone knows how to tie the obi. So,、mm. yeah. So, I actually hardly had any occasions trying this on. Can you put it on for me?、Mm. First, wrap the side without the obi tie around your waist. After three rounds of wrapping, fold the velcro at the end of the obi knot. Into the obi wrapped around your waist and attach it to the velcro inside. Then turn the obi towards your right side, sending the obi knot to your back. It is better to have the knot slightly to the left or right side rather than right in the middle for a more stylish look. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And the back, the knot is something called the kai no kuchi. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's already created for you. You just have to put it on with the tape. But it's called kaido, which is probably the most basic, most common way of tying kaku obi, men's obi.、Mm-hmm. But again, you just, you're actually just putting it together with tape. So it's very easy. And it's done, right? Yeah, it's done. It's over. <laughs> This is it. That was it. <laughs> really, really short. I think it only took like five minutes. Like, if I probably did this on my own, I think it'd be like two or two, three minutes. Actually,、yeah. Without talking, you know.、Mm. Even with us talking, I think it only took about five minutes or mm. such mm. to do everything. So that was easy. The length is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And I just really love the hint of red, you know, in yeah, between. Kawaii. Yeah, it looks really cool.、No. <laughs> I can completely understand why the, you know, the kabuki actor、mm. in the past. Like this kind of style.、Mm. You know, they were like the idols、mm. you know, in the past during the Edo period. So、uh, I can really easily imagine a lot of their fans would go crazy seeing them in this kind of kimono, <laughs>、mm. like、fashionable ikina kimono.、Mm. You know? I love the color. Wonderful. This blue color mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the white will be. Yeah, perfect. This would be so really easy. I mean, if you wanted to go outside in some kind of kimono, I mean, if it's your first time trying it out, y u k a t a with no juban, with these really easy obi, that you can find online shops too, I think.、Mm. Yeah, would be really easy. You it's not troublesome at all.、Mm, so,、yeah. if for your first try, I definitely recommend you start from summer. And trying out this yukata.、Mm. I think this will be really easy, as you just saw. That's it, so. Yeah. Shogo, how tall、yeah. are you? Me? I'm 173 centimeters.、Mm-hmm. And the size is? This size、mm. is, the length is 140. 40?、Mm. 40 centimeters. 40, okay, yeah. Okay. Men's kimono don't have ohashori.、So mm-hmm. You don't know, fold it in yeah, to yeah. adjust the、mm-hmm. length, right? So it's shorter than. Women's kimono.、Mm, that's, that's really interesting,、mm. I think. yeah. If you want to find your size,、mm-hmm. your height、mm-hmm. minus 27.、Mm-hmm. So you minus 27 from your height. So, so, so,、mm-hmm. so, so. Okay.、Mm, so for you, 173. Yep. So、right. it will be 146. Yeah. 46? Right.、Mm. Okay, would be the right size. Yeah. But this is、uh, yukata, so、mm-hmm. it should be. A little bit shorter. Exactly, exactly. Like、mm. we talked about in the、um, mm. women's kimono yukata. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah the legs should be a little bit shorter、mm. to make it look cooler, right? As、yeah. we were saying. Because it's so, summer.、Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So this is really nice. The kata comes with the geta,、yeah. the shoes. Same with the women's kimono, too, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, women's、mm. yukata came together with a geta, too, without the tabi socks. Yeah.、Um, you know, the first time when you put a geta on, the hanao, these, the strings here are really hard. So let me see if I can fit my feet in. There we go. Yeah, every、Very、time.、Nice. Yeah, the new ones are always really tight、yep. and hard to wear. Well, this one is rather soft, though.、Mm. Okay. Great. Yeah, yeah, I love the sounds. Yeah, the sound of the geta, yeah. <laughs> Stepping on this wooden plate here. So now this is. Fully completed. Yep. Oh, I'm a little bit taller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tall. I think my head is not quite not good to get over there. We go. There we go.
。ああ、this is nice、うん。ああ、いや、I really feel like going to a summer festival。わあ、すごいかっこいい。いや、うん。ああ、we'll we're filming this in winter though。シーズンズ a little bit off but the autumn winter right now、うん。But, um, I really feel like I can just head over to a summer festival right away。うん。This looks really good。maybe next year、mm.。maybe next year。yeah、うん。seriously this is awesome。かっこいい。Perfect. Look cool. Nice, I mean. <laughs> okay, so this was summer. Let's move、yep. on to spring and autumn next then. Yes. Okay. Okay, so next is spring and autumn.、Mm -hmm. Back to my very、uh, special fashion again. <laughs> <laughs> But this time I get to have the tabi.、Mm. These are blue, I think? Yeah. Wow, this is my first time wearing blue tabi. Really? Yeah, I only usually wear the white ones.、Mm. So this is now just how to put this on first. The clothes I have in my hand is actually under clothes、uh -huh. called juban. Wow, so this is a juban? Yep. <laughs> Again, along with the tabi, I've only worn white jiban before. So,、oh, wow, jiban can be this colorful. Really cool. I just fall in love with this、uh, shishi here. Oh, the design. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Wow, these are really cool.、Mm. And I bought the hang eri.、Mm -hmm. This gray hang eri. Oh, okay, okay. You sewed it together.、Mm. That's right. Yeah, this is the color part. Yeah, color.、Mm -hmm. The original color, colors, color. Colors, color. <laughs> color, color. Is <laughs> white. Uh, it was navy actually. Navy.、Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Navy you put、color. like a light gray kind、mm. of color on it.、Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So I put this on first then. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's <laughs> compared to the yukata. It's almost like putting on a whole kimono on already.、Mm. Actually. This actually, yeah, this has. A nice string on the back.、Mm. Oh, so maybe you don't need the koshimo then? Oh. Well,、oh, this is really unique. Okay, it's really short though. <laughs> See if it works. You know, this is a second hand k i m o n o you know, juban, so. If it doesn't work, that's completely fine. So, like the women's kimono,、uh -huh. the red color is blonde. Uh huh, uh huh. Ah,、uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right? The left collar. Left collar.、Oh, left left collar is in front. <laughs> yeah, left collar is in front, right collar is in the back.、Mm. Yeah, it's the same. And I forgot to tell you、mm -hmm. uh, in the yukata,、mm -hmm. men's kimono, you don't have、uh, emon. emon nuki. You forgot the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, But I'm you know, trying to speak、emon. English.、So. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You pull it completely on、mm. the neck. Mm -hmm. So,、That's、this、right. is the difference. Now, that is one big difference.、Mm, big、yeah. difference. Big And one more difference men's、mm. kimono d o n t have miyazuguchi. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's right, exactly. The slit is much bigger. Yeah. And this is open. Open here. here.、Mm. Mm -hmm. So, it's this. There is、uh, no opening. It's sewn together. Sewn together. Sewn together. Yeah, that's right.、Mm. Okay, so this is the juban. Yep. We'll move on to the kimono next then. Okay, ta da! This is it! Wow, it looks pretty thick actually.、Mm. Very nice. This is cotton. Cotton? Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks、it's, like it. Yeah, yeah. it's、Fabric. second hand, so not sure, but it's、mm -hmm. not, not too thick actually. Oh, it's not. It just、mm. looks really warm. Yeah.、So. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, again, yeah, I mean, this is, we chose the one for spring、mm. and autumn, so let's start putting it on, man. Right here. Here. Goodbye, lions. <laughs> We have to hide you. Wow. This is a type of kimono that I've never worn before.、Mm. Wow, this is amazing. And here comes another koshimo. So, men would, if they would wear a kimono with a juban, men would actually have two koshimo and an obi too. So, that's three strings now around the waist. Very easy. Yeah, very easy though. <laughs> It's still like a fair to the women's kimono. Much, much easier. Wow, really cool. So, what color obi is going to be matching this? Well, kind of like a grayish color. Gray. Oh, nice. Kaku This、mm -hmm. is actually reversible. reversible. Okay. This way is. Oh, like there's a lighter color lighter too. Color.、Mm. Oh, yellowish, yellow,、mm. lighter color. Gray. Awesome. Which side are we going to be going with? 
I think it gray is better. Okay, it's really up to you. With the Your color. Color, color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start putting it on. This one is the proper kakobi, so. You said we're gonna be doing a type kind called katawasami? Yes. Wow. Katawasami. Leave about twice the width of the obi and mark it. Wrap the obi around your waist three times. Shorten the excess obi to the length as the first folded part by tucking it inside. Bring the wider side on top and tie the knot. Open the base of the wider side, bring it down and tuck it between the first and second layers of the obi. Yes. All right. Dekita. Is it good? <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, Is wow, it good? it's good. Yokata. <laughs> perfect as well. Mm. Wow. Okay. How does it look, guys? Nice. Yeah, the length is perfect. Um, the stableness of the obi is good too. The balance of the collar, the kimono here. You know, th these parts are important for women too, but also for, of course, for men as well. Mm. Yeah, I think it's perfect right under that waistbone here. Mm. And also want to put hakama on. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually the hakama that I usually wear mm. with my uh, matcha colored kimono. So, <laughs> you can like kimono. Yeah, this I think I'll be able to put it on myself actually. Mm. You can also wear hakama too. Mm, uh, mm, the kimono, you mean? Mm. Yeah, you can, you can, of course, yes. But um, usually, I think it depends on who you ask it to, but when you wear um, a hakama on top of a kimono, this will, of course, get in your way when you put the umanori hakama on. So I have been taught that you can actually pull the, the back of the kimono like this mm. and tuck it into your obi. Oh. So you can move your legs easier. So, because there would be more openings here, right? Yeah, mm. and then you can put the hakama on easier. Mm -hmm. So I put it on. Oh, the lions are a little bit back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, lions. Welcome back. Okay. And hide it. And then goodbye again. And goodbye. <laughs> and then goodbye again. Hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye. The top string is crossed over the obi. Oh. And then you make a cross in the front again, put this in the back, and then you actually tie this up behind you. So tie it in the back there, and then bring the back part up. There's actually this white part you tuck inside your obi, here, and then this comes to the front again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the side gets a little bit fluffy mm. when you wear hakama over a kimono. You have to fix it a little bit. And in the front here, <laughs> you can see the string with the juban was a little bit difficult, I think. Um. Yeah, that's fine though. Then it comes to the front here, and then you can make the knot in the front. You fold in one of the strings, you put it in the front, and then you put the other one over it, and then you just keep on going round and round. And until it's done. So that is the end of the hakama. As simple as that. Just just the sides, <laughs> with front <laughs> sides, really open. Yeah, putting on a kimono and wearing hakama afterwards does make the say a little bit messy. So I do need some adjustments afterwards. Yeah, this is cool. Mm. Oh, like a nice. really dark color. Nice. I just love this check pattern. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, wow. Like modern kind of kimono. Mm hmm. Very easy to move around, especially mm. with the hakama worn together with it. Wow, this is good. Awesome. Yeah, this is really good too. Mm. It looks really mature. Mm. Really cool. I can literally go anywhere with this kind of kimono, so. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. Okay, this is the spring and autumn set that we prepared. Alright then, last one. Mm. We have one more set up to go. It's the winter one, so let's Hi. move on to that too. Hi. 
Then finally, this is the、uh, winter. Winter.、Set. And this is still just a juwan.、Right? This is juwan also. Okay, and this time I have a brown tabi. Yeah. First time again. You know, blue <laughs> earlier, now brown.、Mm. Okay, let's start putting this on then. I didn't know such a tabi exists in the first place. There are so many colors actually. Yeah, I did not know about that. Also, some patterns on it.、Oh, some、okay. kind of tabi. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the juban color actually matches the tabi. It's brown too. Yes. Again, a、mm. new experience for me. I again, I usually only wear white. So, tabi、okay. is on. Next is the juban tabi. Wow, very nice. Yeah, this is completely brand new.、Mm, yeah. Brand new. <laughs> Easily understand that it's very different. Wow, nice、Ooh. color. It's really、um, beautiful looking at the whole body is completely brown. You know. <laughs> All right, another koshi himo again. <laughs> Men's kimono is just so easy, isn't it? Simple. Yeah, it、Simple. doesn't change. We're doing the same thing over and over again,、yeah. so the seasons are changing, but we're, what we're doing is the same, actually. Okay. All right. Yes, kimono. This is a kimono, isn't it? Oh wow, the kimono is beautiful. Really heavy. Is it heavy? Oh yeah, because it's. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh, this is really heavy.、Mm. Yeah. Winter kimono. Yeah, the fabric is so thick. Okay, so this is completely thick.、Mm. I thought the spring autumn one was pretty thick too,、mm. but this one is completely different. Is this new as well or secondhand? This is secondhand. This is secondhand.、Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Ah,、oh. what color would this be? Ocha poi yo shite. Yeah, it's,、mm. yeah, it's like a kind of like a teaish color.、Mm. Wow! Oh, it's so thick.、Wow. I think this is made from wool. Wool? Okay. Wool. Mm -mm. Ah. Must be really warm. Oh wow! This looks. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just love it. I, I really like how with a different color juban,、mm -hmm. the, the、uh, should I say the atmosphere changes、yeah. a lot. When you wear a white、um, color,、mm. basically you know. The color matches, looks the same, but now this is another really mature kind of color.、Mm. Actually, even more mature, I think, compared to、mm. the other one.、Mm. Yeah, I think so. Spring and autumn, getting more and more mature as the seasons go by. Because <laughs> <laughs>、yeah, I'm growing older, you know. Yeah, as time passes by. <laughs> I don't、oh, mean、okay. that. <laughs> and summer and back again. Yeah, and summer I, I get, get young again. Younger again. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm young. I don't care.、Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Wow! I think right now, from from my point of view, twenty seven years old, you know, loving kimono. I think this one for for me is my favorite design.、Mm -hmm. I love all the three we did today, but I, this、really、is、good. my favorite too. Oh really? Yeah, perfect and <laughs> awesome. Okay, next is the obi. The obi is different again, right? Yes. Oh, it has a little bit more designs on it too. Cool.、Wow. Yeah, I love it. Is this reversible as well, or?、Uh, no, this one is not reversible.、Mm -hmm. This one is the other side. So. Yep.、Mm, just this side for this、okay. one. Okay. But really lovely. Okay. Then this time I'll do the kainokuchi. This time I'll do the kainokuchi.、Mm. Okay. Kainokuchi is the musubi that was done by the skuri obi we did、mm. in the very beginning with the yukata. Oh yes, yes. That was that looked like a kainokuchi. Yeah, but you, we didn't actually have it tied.、So. Mm. Leave about thirty centimeters of the obi and fold it in half. Wrap the obi around your waist three times. Shorten the excess obi to make the length of the thin and wide obi the same by tucking it inside. Bring the wider side on top, make a knot, and bring it down. Fold the wider side up. And insert it into the pocket that's created by bringing the thinner side up. Again, bring the knot slightly to the left or right side rather than right in the middle for a more stylish look. Can I turn around then? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. This is good. really good. Yeah. すごいかっこいい Yeah.、Mm. Wow. <laughs> This is really my first experience wearing such、mm. a color kimono and tabi and obi and everything. So is it warm? Very warm. <laughs> <laughs> very very warm. Just you know important for me during winter、mm. time especially. So wow, this is great.
great. Well, there's actually one more to this, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's not over yet. This is amazing. What is it? That's a haori, <laughs> haori. Wow. Haori is kind of like a kimono coat, mm. you say? Mm -hmm. Casual one. Yeah, it's something that you wear. I'll put it on myself, mm. thank you. It's something that you wear over your kimono. Mm -hmm. This is actually uh, like special kind of yeah, this is fabric. I've like never seen yeah, before. special fabric. Say suede or something. Suede, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks super gorgeous. Mm. Let me put the sleeves inside here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you might be thinking, uh, Sugar, why are you folding in the column the end mm -hmm. here? But actually, as you can see here. There's actually the point where you put the haori himo actually. So Harumi has it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is where the haori himo should come. Mm. So it's actually correct to have it folded in like this, the edge. When I first wore uh, haori, I thought it was a little bit weird too to fold it. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit weird. Do women's kim um haori fold in the edge like this too? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? Okay, okay. Maybe okay. we will look it up and. Put it, in Put it on the video. With editing. Mm. Okay. So it's completed. All right. And by the way, this is uh, Nagi that's been crying <laughs> outside the camera. Hi. Yeah. She's getting a little bit grumpy. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> hi. You're looking at daddy? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is amazing, honey. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Lovely. This is absolutely something that I would not usually do. Mm with the kimono that I regularly wear, so. Mm. Especially this haori, mm. the, you know, as we were saying earlier, the fabric is so special. Mm. You know, it's shiny. It looks really warm. Yeah, it does. Mm. It, it really is. Mm. It does look warm, and it really is warm. Mm. Yeah. This is great. What do you think, Noko? Very cool. Very cool, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And it's great. It's really fun that there's a lot of different types of the haori mo here. Mm. Mm -hmm. there, this is the kinds with almost like beads, I guess you can say. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But there are some with, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll post some pictures on the screen for you. There's, yes, yeah, stones or different um, leather sometimes too. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of haori obi. And because it comes right in front of your body, depending on what you put here, the image of your whole fashion changes a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I think you can enjoy choosing the haori himo here. Yeah, this one, um, this one actually we chose together. Yeah, and I really, really like this one. Yeah. So, and I think I made a really good choice. So, <laughs> this is great. great. So, this one is the winter one. Perfect for the season right now in Kyoto. And we're filming this. Awesome. <laughs> You're so happy. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is great. I would have never bought this on my own, so. Awesome. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, this was simply an awesome video for me. I was just standing there and having my wife dress me up and I get this really cool kimono and you know, especially this winter one was really, really cool, so. This is so amazing. Yeah. I hope this video was really fun for you to watch and also educational for you. So we have inside the description box some links of our recommended online shops where you can buy kimono and these haori and such. So I hope you can look for your favorite kimono and maybe watch this video and see how to put everything on and such. So I hope you can enjoy wearing men's kimono too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how was it for you, Harumi? How, how did you see it? Did you enjoy putting it on? And was it the same as your image or? <laughs> I would simply really enjoy mm -hmm. looking up uh, all the kimono. Yeah, you are already enjoying yeah. it that point. But yeah. I was really, a, a little bit nervous how it would be. Yeah, actually, when you put it on me. Yeah, uh -huh. but yeah, it was perfect. Great job, you did Perfect model. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think you did a great job, yeah. Really, really cool. What do you think, Tomoko, by the way? Uh, I think you are the coolest in your life. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> this is the end then? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess a well, lot, guys. Then I guess this is the this is the the best video that we're ever gonna be making. So, <laughs> well, but yeah, this really does feel look super cool. And I think I am. I hope it really can be able to show up in other videos in this kimono. So yeah. I hope we can look forward to that too. Okay. <laughs> Nagi is going all over the place. Okay. 
Okay, so then please let us know in the comments which was your favorite on um, kimono that we introduced today, the summer one, spring autumn, or the winter one. And if you enjoyed watching, please give us a like to help us boost this video to more viewers. And our goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. I will see you in our next video when we talk about kimonos. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye.